Uh, so we're back for a video uh, that is kind of taking us to the holiday season. Basically, just so you guys are aware, if you don't see glitter in every single YouTube video until January. I, this, I will stop in January, but right now I'm working on next year um, product that I'm working. It's been years of working on it, but we now we dip into it. And it's about glitter. And so I'm so, like, my head is so much in glitter that I see glitter everywhere, and all I want is to play with glitter. And <laughs> also, this is a season where I want to play with glitter the most. So I'm sorry, if you don't like glitter, you can pass because you're gonna see glitter all the time until the next year, basically. So, one, if you follow this YouTube channel since a while, you'll see that every fall I always have a copper eye, red lips look. And every time I kind of bring a twist because it's really one of my favorite combo for that season. So I wanted to do this time with some of our product uh, mixed with others because I've never been able to play with my own product for this look. So I thought this is the time. Like I kind of want to push the copper, bring a bit of glitter in it, of course. Make the red lipstick a bit more black. And then I'll talk to you about what we're going to do for the holiday for my brand. I'll talk to you while I do my makeup. So. I don't have anything right now, and I want to have a bit of concealer always. You've seen um, that I'm using the Pat McGrath right now quite a bit because it's really working well for me at the moment. And when you use like a black, more black lipstick, I think it's nice to kind of like have a little bit more foundation or concealer around the lips to really make the area of this of the face brighter, more luminous, to brighten the entire complexion overall. And then I'm gonna have, as always, on my dark circle. So you see, I don't go on to close. I keep saying always the same, but I don't want to close from the eyes. And then I'm going to stretch all of the texture here. So it's the first time I'm working on a holiday theme for my brand. I didn't have a brand before. It was a bit tricky for me because my team is super excited about the holiday, especially you, Anastasia. <laughs> um, and for me, it used to be a season that I really like, and now it becomes a season that's a bit painful for me. Um, and I thought instead of like faking it and faking it's a season I'm super happy and I love it, uh, I'm just gonna maybe work around the idea of <clears throat> kind of embrace that and because I'm sure there are other people like me that are struggling during the holiday and so what do we need for those who struggle during the holiday, what do we need? And try to work around making, you know, at my level with products and beauty, how can I help us make people feel a bit better at my small level. So um, just to explain you a little bit why it's uh, difficult for me uh, the holiday season. I mean, you know, I don't really talk about my private life, but basically I got very lucky. I had my own papa, my own dad, uh, that's my biological father. He didn't raise me, but I loved him so, so much. Uh, and I, I was raised by Simon, who is uh, my stepfather, but because he raised me since I'm three, I don't call him papa, but I always introduce him as my father. So I had two dads in a way. Uh, so I'm really lucky on that side. And um, unfortunately, my, fa my biological father, my papa, passed away during this season. And uh, some other people of my family that were really close to me. So it's kind of a traumatic time for me. And it used to be a very happy time, but now that is no longer here, uh, it can't really be that much of a happy time. Especially that now that I have Ines with me and I, in our life, and I wish she knew the amazing grandfather that he grew up in for her. It makes it a bit um, more difficult. Anyway, I'm not used to <laughs> talk about this kind of thing on the camera, but um, I'm like putting blush nervously right now to come, but. Um, I, I kind of, I kind of hide, not I'm, I don't hide it, but this is very personal to me. And I use this to create 
and I felt like I should share a little bit of, about my story because then you understand my my process when I created what I'm going to show you for the holiday because I, I'm hoping that for all those that it's also a little bit of a hard season for them and a hard moment for them at the Christmas time uh, they can feel that I'm kind of giving them a big hug and I'm like I'm, I'm here with you and I, I, I know it's not a not an easy time and um, I'm, I'm following even on, on YouTube uh, a, f a few girls that are are having uh, mental health issues and they talk about how this season is also a big trigger for them because you're more isolated it's dark earlier uh, they are separated from their family there's many many reasons that triggers a lot of uh, emotion during that time so it's not happy for everyone and and i kind of wanted to be like you know what that's going to be my thing i'm going to focus on how i can bring a little bit of magic for people like us that are struggling during this time but yeah. a little bit of uh, pink blush i really love the jouet formula because it's very soft it doesn't grab on any uh, oil you may have on your face it really blends super well and it's very even everywhere and the colors are really beautiful so now I'm gonna use the highlighter here and here to really give this like nice I can climb a little bit on the elbow. Inside, as always. But now, I feel like I want to do my lips first. So, sometimes when you do a statement, um, maybe do it first before you do the other part. So, since your eyes, statement, do the eyes first. And I always do my eyes first and then my lips because the lips are the statement right now. I never did this before using black on any petal bush. We'll see. Uh, this one, let's make a front run. So quite try to be really um, even in the thickness of this black pencil because uh, you want to make sure we, we're going to create this sort of ombre, red ombre. So you want to make sure it's kind of like even in the same way and becoming an ombre in the same way. It can make the lips go smaller when you do dark colors, so you can cheat a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. So this is really great because it's pigmented, it has a lot of payoff, so you're not struggling. So, good one. And now with a brush, I'm going to blend the inside. So, you said you wrong before. And I'm kind of going to add a little a bit of black like this. So it kind of now that you did the contour, this is going to like, kind of go. Halloween look? Yeah, I wish this is for the holiday. Yeah. I mean, it's even. For me, it's fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna remove a little bit of uh, the center. Voila. Well, let's see. I'm going to start by applying the center and I remove a lot of the lipstick. So I really just have a few friends. 
and then I use the other side that's clean and I'm going to clean my brush. Now I can grab more and go over it. I like to put the texture inside here because I don't go all the way back down with the brush that needs to be cleaned up a little. So I do this in the center because I don't want too much texture. Clean up a little bit. That's just the beginning, the base, and then we're gonna make it look really nice. So before it's dry, you have to blend the center. Basically, I added, you know, you do the black, you do the red first on the inside, you blend it so it's really bright. And then you do the red on the corners to make it deeper. And then you finish with a sort of a light top coat of the red. So everything kind of blends in together better. I quite like to have the contour, like this black line almost, because I feel like it brings a sort of strength that I quite like. But I'm happy I did this before because I think I would have done my eyes much stronger if I didn't do my lips. Now that I gave it a little dramatic gothic more style. So I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, the eye pencil. Sometimes I do that, I close my eyes on it and I call it my lash line because it drops a little bit of pigments on both. Top lash line and bottom. Always a tiny bit here. I pull with my finger to make it more almondy. I'm gonna go really light with this. So, in the inner corner. Blend it. For, for beauty and fashion, I think fall is such a fun season because you can ha really enjoy wearing this kind of makeup. I mean, honestly, wear makeup anytime you want. But I, I really feel like this is a season to to really have fun with uh, makeup. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of glitter. And I'm gonna add. really push the shine of the cover. So basically down bottom lashes and make it them really like pew like that. But let me show you the goodies. These are the goodies for the holidays. Uh, this honestly we're having struggle with so I'm really hoping you're gonna receive it. Basically, I wanted to do an e com box, which is a box you know you ship your products in. So it's the box like this, and you put when you do this instead of throwing it away, you flip it around. You know, it's going to be like this. Basically. You flip it around, and it becomes a gift box. So at least this cardboard has another life because you can. It's like kind of a wrapping paper, it's already done. So you just have to put a present in there, maybe put a little tape if you want to, put this under the tree. It's written, which is the theme of our holiday because 
for me, what, what helped me uh, go over uh, some difficult things, like I mentioned before, was to, um, among other things, was also to make one of my dreams come true, and that's what I did. And it really, uh, you know, it gives you hope, it gives you a lot of good energy in your heart. Like, I feel like it's uh, quite healing when you make a dream come true. So that's why I wanted to tell you this event to be focusing on making a dream come true. So voilà, to be having major issues to, to reproduce it and have to be shipped to us. So you can go to our PPL and we'll ship this to you guys. We have our famous real box that had this summer three DC bomb. Uh, we are reworking uh, our sold out uh, coral color. Um, so in the meantime, we took back this beauty, this super beautiful box. And look, it's almost like a new. And inside, we put um, the two colors that I love so much, Betis and Caillisson, and we added bone shine. And I don't know if you know, but it's so cute about it is that when we remove, because I want you to keep everything so we don't throw away, but everything is from recycled material. Everything is recycled material. So, but still, the goal is to not throw away. So you can remove this part, and then you have a little love. I love you. Can become a little, you know, jewel box or makeup box. So it has Betty's and Calisson, who are really two colors that are perfect and with strong eyes. I love it. And then we had this to go in the theme of the whole holiday theme. And then, oh, oh, I love this one. Uh, so still in the same spirit. This one is Ferme les yeux, fais un vœu. So close your eyes, make a wish to go before this guy like, hope for the dream to become reality. So close your eyes and make a wish and I hope this like little angel bird will take you wish where it's supposed to go and become true. So you have also little lucky stars. This is la magie which means magic. And so when you open this you have our three bestseller petal bush, boom boom milk and boom shine. And here it's written with love. So it's a super nice present. Um, this is also like kind of the perfect look. It's moving on your skin with the bone shine and the red is at the door. So we, I wanted to create like very cute gift you can get uh, that will be full of meanings and charged with love and hope that you know you feel that this hug from us to you. So, voilà, that's it.